Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back for another Epic 7 gameplay video. Uh, I'll give some tips, uh, some stuff you might not know. Uh, right now I'm doing a, uh, an urgent mission and uh, these pop up from time to time and when you complete them you get uh, a type of currency that you can donate in your guild and you will receive some uh, like uh, the current the guild currency which you can then uh, use in the shop for buying various things including the material that uh, you can uh, transform in your sanctuary uh, into a, a into a skill up early on you only need like one or two uh, the uh, the mandrake uh, I'll show you. I think it's the... They're called... Yeah, I'll show you. Um, like... Says... All his uh, skill only require one. Uh, same thing with uh, Destina. Uh, but... Elson... Elson is a... Uh, a character that everyone can get. Right now the server is like slow, it's, uh, it's having some difficulties with uh, the reward screen. But Elson uh, requires two of them for uh, skilling up. See, at the bottom uh, right there was Urgent Mission. And you see the perfect Cannon, uh, he's just a two star. Uh, this Tina says and Elson are max level, so... Uh, a portion of their experience is uh, awarded to uh, uh, the father that I'm leveling up. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to get uh, extra experience if you know you can handle the, the stage. Proof of Courage. A token given after completing urgent missions can be donated to your guild and used to purchase items from the captain shop. <clears throat> gonna go into the lobby uh, guild I, al I already uh, donated one and you should donate 50,000 gold every day as well you get uh, 50 honor coin and this gives 10 each. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the server is slow, struggling. So Captain Shop. So afterward, uh, the guild leader, maybe the assistants can uh, do it, but they buy this uh, guild supply chest. You will receive either Skystone Stigma or Brave Crest at random. Well, everyone in the guild should receive this thing, so that's pretty cool. Now, let me just check my reputation. I've been pro uh, progressing in the uh, the adventures quite a bit. I was like, just, what was it? I unlocked chapter 4, the 4th region, and now I'm at 7. So yeah, I did progress quite a bit. All this stuff, can I? No, but you can go to the the tent region from the first one, I believe. So if I back out of this, so Izira. You see, if you take the shortcut that goes up, move to East Aranor, and uh, East Aranor is here. So I already worked on this stuff. There's multiple ways to access uh, this place. I was already working on it. I mean, you see one star here, one star there. But, uh, yeah, 10, 10, uh, Tantan is here. 
that's not my team, but... I don't know how much power, it's more about uh, being able to just tank the damage, heal through it and use poison uh, to uh, take down the targets, if it's that hard really, I don't know. But uh, poison is usually the way to go and uh, if you want Elsen, you see the... The NPC on the left side with a chat bubble, talk to him or her, and uh, yeah, he was here. So you do all this stuff, reach account rank five, complete thirty battles with a supporter, and gift gift three hundred stigma. You should definitely build Elson so strong because attack and defense up. For two turn you get the attack up when you uh, awaken him the third awakening uh, heal based on the the enemy's target max hp and decrease attack 50 percent chance for one turn uh, debuffs and buffs are extremely powerful in this game so yeah <clears throat> take advantage of that uh, challenge at the bottom right unlocked when i reach the uh it's like what was it the, the sixth chapter in the adventures and uh, I got access to this I completed normal difficulty it it took a while I, I wasn't taking too much damage but the boss was really tanky and there was a repetition like some achievement that gave me material uh, this one in normal gave me material to get XP on my uh, my necklace so that was really nice. Now, this Tina, I changed her, I put her on a swift, on a uh, speed set with a health set. So, uh, yeah, she needed more speed and uh, her set was kind of broken. She had like a health set and uh, I mean, this is not good, but it's for the health bonus. But yeah, this health percentage, uh, speed set. These boots are pretty damn good. Like they're they're only tier three, but oh, it, actually I need an enhancement here. Perfect. Five five two four. Oh yes, five percent defense increase. Perfect. So this is a swift. Uh, I mean a speed set. Uh, it has a bit of uh, uh, flat speed, like two and uh, like it has health percentage on the left side it's flat stats let me show you on uh, it says so flat stats are, are on the items on the left side it's always going to be flat stats so you've got flat attack flat health and flat defense now on the right side you can roll percentage rolls and these are the best i, I got really lucky with this thing uh, critical hit chance it's 12% now, it's plus 7. Uh, flat health, not too great, but effect resistance 6%, attack 4%, and defense 5%. Uh, it's on a hit set, and I actually had one hit uh, piece already uh, in my gear. So, I mean, the stats <coughs> are pretty tanky stats. It's not the, <coughs> sorry, the attack crit crit damage that you want on uh, damage dealer, but, and speed, but it's, it's still good because it gives me extra hit and says has a healing a healing debuff and this i mean it's it's so good so i use the experience thing uh, on on this ring that i got show, showed in the previous video and it's it's so strong it's really good this is the boots i had with hit and it's percentage uh, attack so that's quite a bit of attack it has a bit of a crit chance but I mean, I didn't get lucky with the extra rolls. It went into effect resistance. But anyways, it's it's still pretty good. <clears throat> and double double crit set. And these are the stats: 61% crit now. It's working out just fine. Elson is underpowered in terms of gear. So 18,000 uh, CP, uh, 24,000 combat power, 
Elson's only 11,000, but I need to bring Elson to 5 star actually, so when I go in promotion, I've got 2, <clears throat> but I need to actually work on <clears throat> promoting more uh, heroes here, like this, this guy, this uh, wolf, might as well use, uh, not this one. I do have the gold. I've got a couple materials for earth. It's mostly earth, one, one dark, one ice, and one fire. Let's see here. Yeah, it, the dark. It's called earth. this is called earth. This yeah, light, and this is it's fire. Okay, <clears throat> just trying to know the exact names. There is another one. So this one. So like you level up fathers, and then you you promote the fathers that you leveled and uh, you're just building them up and you're trying to get uh, like if you're trying to get a, a four star on uh, to five star you're gonna use uh, like uh, heroes that you just promoted to four star that you want to feed into that 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 max level four star to make it five star and you can do the same for a five star using five star fodders <clears throat> so these are done this is almost there if I uh, how much experience it's like a barely a thousand here and the next level so it's like 3,000, no, it's way too much experience, I should not use it on that, I should just level it by playing. Uh, so can I even power this one up? Nope. Nope, not quite yet. But yeah, I've, I've got a couple uh, three star maxed. And I already have four star. I got two four star. So it's getting there slowly as I'm progressing. I'm also leveling uh, fathers at the same time. And uh, just go in the sanctuary. <clears throat> so, like, since I can get experience uh, kind of passively, like, I can farm whatever I need to farm and have. A, uh, a hero in there that's just collecting the experience and all the experience from the my max level heroes as long as I can clear stuff with my three main heroes I'm all good here I'm working on getting uh, two star max level fathers uh, two star food they become three star after I just uh, use uh, level one two stars to promote them to three star so i can use uh, the stigma to uh, auto complete so let's just do it i prefer to get these instead of uh, but that's the thing though let me explain the difference because you can get two penguin for the price of a two star max right <clears throat> so far I'm like I'm kind of debating which one I want I feel like I might have my inventory full of penguins because like they're for all different elements you know I'm already at 42 so I'll, I'll hit the, the maximum fairly uh, soon and I, like you can buy fathers from the secret shop, the guy in the bar. 
Alright, just refresh now. What is that? See, you can get like uh, ring and necklaces from here as well. This is a flat attack uh, base stat, so it, it's not good. But if you don't have better and you need, <clears throat> let's say, you need an extra piece for to complete your speed set, like you could definitely buy it. 150,000 gold is not that much. <clears throat> you can farm that quite fast. Uh, yeah, what I'm looking here is ring, uh, necklaces, and like, of course, like, uh, Good, usable ring and necklaces but the ring and neck that I'm buying are like uh, they're like common they're just like this item normal uh, normal quality and I use them to feed I feed them into uh, the usable ones that I use on my heroes and actually I, I did get once uh, the, the bookmarks five i bought them for a hundred eighty thousand gold five of them it was actually like i was surprised this that's cool that's really nice actually so that that's a source of uh of books to actually summon so <clears throat> all these are open now they're all open and uh, i need to progress like mm, you should do all of them, progress in all of them, because you get first time, uh, uh, you get a reputation. There's uh, missions and you get some materials that way, and you get reputation as well. Like, I could do the dark one. I don't need to do it. Bring this guy along. Uh, whatever. This is like my team. It's the team I do most of the content with <clears throat> so yeah right now it's a really good time to farm uh, the awakening materials in uh, these element elemental dungeons because they're all open cannon this is the last shot so I need to progress in the especially in the water one and then the earth one uh, well, the, not the water the ice uh, the ice elemental dungeon and the uh, the earth elemental dungeon because well uh, both of my five, five stars are of those uh, elements so you can see here, go on reputation. That was just first level. Well, that that was also part of the daily. You need to do one. What is it? Oh, the dispatch uh, missions. All right, so let me see if I can uh, I can progress in here. Let's go with water first. For says, I guess it shouldn't be too hard. So my my team, my team, I will use the second team. This is my wyvern team. Of course, like having earth heroes more earth heroes to counter the boss would be optimal but how do I have so much CP yeah I guess that's my CP now 60 68,000 because I've <laughs> I've been running pretty much all day with a hero that I'm leveling as my fort so <laughs> so that's why I was kind of surprised at my combat power now so yeah, uh, Alexa is my fourth uh, character. It's either uh, uh, Alexa or Ras. But Ras is not really good. Ras really, uh, uh, I use him for PvP, 
just for uh, his uh, skill 2 to, uh, to have an extra turn with my says. But really, uh, I, I need to replace uh, Ras ASAP, basically. I need to either uh, build a, a strong fort hero or just... I mean, that was pretty overkill for that last, that last one. Or I need to uh, get lucky with summoning. Now I'm debating if I want to summon. Uh, you can press on the target that you want your uh, your heroes, the the AI to focus on. By the way, I don't really care about the ads. I don't think they might apply some damage over time. That boss splits up, anyways. I wonder if you take down the ads if she still splits. I'm pretty sure she does. Alexa's really strong with her poison. I got her her third uh, awakening, so she it's a hundred percent chance when she crits to go uh, to have a second turn. Quite strong, and she is uh, she is free, guys. You can build her. Uh, just talk to the NPC in town that I showed you to get Elson. It's just you need to do the uh, well, do the objectives, and it's also part of the current event to uh, the second connection, and you get rewarded after uh, getting her. <clears throat> Greater Frost Room. That's the that's the second one or is that the third? The third room, let's see. No no, it's the second one. Yeah, here I'm not using a father though. Let's go continue. Wait, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, it's uh, nope. Thought it was loading. So re reputation once again. <clears throat> Every time you do uh, one of these for the first time, you get something in there. Okay. <clears throat> Epic frost rune. This. Oh. Five and six is greater. No, oh, no, there's okay, okay. It's, it was scrolled down. That's why. Four is the normal and greater. Five normal and greater. Six, same. And now seven. You can get the epic frost. I think by completing this one, I get it guaranteed. Now, yeah, this this could be problem problematic. We'll see what happens. Of course, like if I had Earth, like instead of Alexa, <clears throat> if I had a strong uh, Earth uh, hero, like uh, Kairos. The poison uh, ranger or silk. I don't know the exact skill set on uh, silk though. I can check it out after. Silk can be built. She's a four star. It's it's kind of annoying to build her, but it's worth it. Uh. Kairos, I have not seen... Uh, you cannot build her. You've got to luck out on the summoning. She's a 3-star. I really wish I could get defense down and my team going, especially for uh, Wyvern. 
just to speed the run up but i mean i'm i'm leveling uh, my fourth is a, a hero that i'm leveling up a father just food to uh, to promote uh, promote to eventually promote uh, like my four star elson into five star and then uh, whichever fort I decide to use to five star. Oh my god, don't die. Heal here and not enough. Oh. She's dead when she goes. Should have stopped it. Anyways. It's fine. As long as my three heroes are alive, it's all good, but. They could be, uh, they could be taking a beating very soon. Beast of the West. I mean, it's damage over time. It's not too bad. It's not uh, like uh, unhealable debuff or defense down. Like defense down would be super brutal. Oh my god, she's dead. Yeah, I don't know why I was saying that she splits up. It's not her, it's it's the, the third boss in Hunt that splits up. Let's look at this stuff here. Chase, increase speed of the caster every time they are attacked. Effect is removed on the caster's next turn. Increase max health and attack of all allies expect, uh, except for the caster. Oh. Maybe I do have to take down the allies. I'm, I'm gonna check out what the buffing is like. Oh my, look at all the debuffs. Four poisons. And speed down. This is super brutal, she's gonna die. <laughs> oh! Survive! Go! Do it! Oh! <laughs> is it gonna be enough? <clears throat> oh yeah, it's a finishing <clears throat> attack. When the, when the enemy is at uh, under like 10% health or maybe 5% health, it does insane damage. It's like a finishing move. <clears throat> that was super clutch. Wow. Yeah, not the other one, but let's see on the completion lobby. The reputation reward. After this one, this is for the previous level. Oh, yep. One, though. Only one. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, says. How many does he need? Oh, damn. Me, too. Wow. Crit chance 6%. That's pretty strong. Okay. But, but, but. I can exchange actually. So, boom. So you take ten of the previous one, fifty thousand gold. There we go. It says insufficient, it just needs to update. Maybe I need to... I, I have it on the left side, you see. You can upgrade this stuff right, to whichever one you want, but the fourth and fifth is gonna be different. These are, are really hard to farm. So yeah, make, make sure you, uh, you're sticking with that hero. Make sure you are sticking with that hero. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, the, the stage was a bit too clutch. Okay. 
Next one. Whoa, that? No, no, that's the. F that's the, which one? That's the fifth. Yep. Wow. Okay. Okay. Health. Attack. All right, this four is perfectly fine for now. You see, plus three. That's because I skilled him up three times. Yeah, right here. Uh, first, I want to see here the awakening of uh, this team because this Tina is gonna be different now. Says my main damage dealer, and uh, yeah, Earth counters water uh, ice, so it's not gonna work out too well in there. I could farm the previous level and just actually I'm gonna get rewarded with the token so it's fine I can just do here the combination and get the fourth one for her defense increase some health and attacks pretty good now let me show you I wanted to talk about the because uh, I forgot what it's called if you go under hero you get skill enhance here so let's say I want to power this up <clears throat> I need one Molagora, a screaming grassroot, <clears throat> and says, for the first one on each was one. Now you see three, three, three. <clears throat> Elson, on this, because this is like on the second one, minus one turn cooldown is OP. But you need the strange jelly, so you need to farm up in the adventure for a, on a stage that drops this. And yeah, it requires two here, and then the next one probably requires even more materials. This is only one and one, but what you really want to <laughs> power up is this one. That's a massive boost. Check Alexa real quick. Damage dealt, damage dealt, damage dealt. Is there a cooldown reduction later on? Yeah, minus one turn on the third one here. <coughs> but. You should, <clears throat> uh, you should do the initial ones with uh, the Molagora, and when you get near the end, you should uh, save duplicate copies of the same hero, and then uh, enhance the heroes using the, the extra copies because it gives you a skill uh, skill up as well. So that's important to know. Uh, let me check something real quick. Where's she at? Oh. Okay, so Misty Chain. Because I've done it already on Misty Chain. If I go on her. Me? That Maybe that's incorrect. Maybe I got the wrong information about that. Pretty sure I did it on her, and Saz is the only one with plus next to his star, so he's the only one with skill up. Everyone else does not have skill ups, so yeah, I'm I'm curious what happened there. Now, let's see here. Let me just do this one, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, so yeah, here, well, 69.5 thousand now because uh, says get powered up. Now I'm gonna modify this team because that's not the correct setup that I should be using. Actually, I don't even need to do it. I don't need to modify this one. It's my last setup. Have fire in front. Yeah, let's just do it like that. It's my PVP setup. Now, in terms of amount of speed that I have on my team, uh, Elson does go first. He's got the highest speed on my team, and then it is uh, Destina goes right, pretty much right after him. So there was a situation in a battle. Uh, there's a hero that went first, and he stunned my Raz and my Sez. Right, so. My Elson went, and then Destina was next, so I used her ultimate, and I cleared all the stuns, and then the rotation kept on going. So 
So yeah, Cez was next, so I was able to... Uh, uh, I don't think I went straight for his ultimate because I, I wasn't sure if I was able to take down the target with, with just the ultimate. So I, I just uh, used skill one and then I I finished off one target with uh, Raz skill two to combo and, uh, with Cez skill one. And that took down a target and then I lowered another one and then I finished the, the battle pretty much with just ultimating with Cez on the uh, the low target. Uh, did AOE on the rest of the enemies and uh, at that point, I just turned on auto mode and uh, I just let my team uh, finish off the other two. This was like a healer and a support, or like a healer and uh, I mean, uh, like a tank or maybe like a, a damage dealer with not too much damage. I think it was Ravi, and I didn't care too much about it because I mean, uh, says counters Ravi, so it's all good. Let me check the skills here. The caster is granted an extra turn after being attacked four times. Oh, that is annoying. That's like in uh, Golems and Summoner's War. Mana enhance. Enhance mana increase, increasing attack at the beginning of every turn. Okay, so uh, debuffing the boss or at least countering that with an attack down does help and having defense up on your team does definitely help if you cannot remove the the buff landslide causes a huge rock to fall on the enemy dispelling one buff attacks all enemies by slamming the ground dealing damage proportional to the enemy's max health yeah, that that boss sounds a lot a lot like Golem in Summoner's War. Ten floors of Golem. It's pretty much the stuff you just farm for runes, and in this game, it's items instead. Uh, Says still does some decent damage even against the the wrong element. If I had fire, like a strong fire hero, I'm just using what I got, and my set is way stronger than everything else that I have. But that that one that one was doable. That one was doable, but next one is not gonna happen. Next one is gonna wipe the floor with me. So I'm gonna go in the reputation, collect the reward, and then uh, just rank up the uh, the rune. And I should have enough for this Tina. This Tina's fourth awakening, I believe. Worst case, I can just farm uh, that same level a few times and I'll be good to go. That wasn't too many. Yeah, that. I don't know about that. Alright, so let's get that thing. Oh no, so I need two more. Oh, I actually got one of these. But yeah, I'm gonna need quite a few, I bet. Not this one, it's the next one. <laughs> 15. Yeah, crazy grind on those uh, those last two. But yeah, I can just get two more and I, I can just uh, combine. Just straight up combine right here. Oh damn, 100,000. Okay, I'll do it later. But that's some nice stat increase. Might as well. Might as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Oh, skill enhance is actually there. The top right. Yep. Arena. Let's see the, my ranking. Have I been attacked often? Yeah, I did get attacked a few times. I'm getting attacked. But my rank is kind of steady. Because I think you need to lose like three and a half, four times. Because when I win where I'm at, it's like 14, uh, 
14 points and when you lose it's like minus four or something like that defense team yep maybe I should yeah when I power up I mean when I five star Elson it's gonna be helpful but yeah just getting more gear Ras got to go but it's good that I have uh, a fire element in there because it means like says are attacking Raz so that's taking uh, like if I didn't have Raz there's a chance that my says gets attacked by other says but I mean if the person's controlling it anyways they, they they're gonna yeah actually if my Raz not tanky enough and they decide to focus Raz with the ultimate of says I mean they take the one shot Raz and then it uh, deals damage to my whole team and then they take me out in, uh, in not too long actually so let's quickly check here my stats 4100 health 453 defense Yeah, Raz has more health. And some more defense as well. And he's using the lifesteal set. I mean, his costumes are really bad. I mean, this thing is good. For survival, it's actually quite good. This is not really good. And I didn't really work on... Wait, that thing's not even powered up, really. Wow, that, that's like, I got the items, right? And I didn't power them up. That was it. I just dumped them on him. That one is kind of... It's almost like I've got to go and farm for more of these. All right, guys, I'll just leave it as is because I'm only using him in PvP. And uh, I've, I've really got to get a tankier fort in my team. Yeah, if I want to do some serious pvp but yeah that's it for this one guys thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one peace out for now